A congressional effort to squash President Joe Biden's student loan forgiveness program dies a quick death. He's continued to pursue new government spending, from his nearly trillion-dollar student loan giveaway to a budget that in a few short years would have us spending $10 trillion annually. The bill offers to forgive up to $20,000 in debt for students who went to college on Pell Grants and $10,000 for those without, if specific requirements are met. Nearly 90% of those relief dollars go to people making less than $75,000 a year. Both chambers of Congress passed a bill that would have halted Biden's program, but the president vetoed the legislation Wednesday, saying he, quote, won't back down from helping hardworking folks. Some of the same members of Congress who supported this bill voted to a huge tax cuts for corporations and the wealthy as well. But when it comes to hardworking Americans trying to get ahead, dealing with the student debt relief, that's where they drew the line. Critics say the proposal is financially unfair. What President Biden is doing is transferring those student loans and those student loan debt onto the backs of hardworking Iowans and, and others. The legality of the loan forgiveness program is in the hands of the Supreme Court. The justices are expected to issue a decision on it this summer. I'm John Lawrence reporting.